we cannot as South Africans since 1994. When you look, 1994 is 2000, it's 25, 26 years of democracy, but it hasn't translated economically. And the reason why I say that, in the business I do, I'm gonna take me for example, okay? When I engage a lot of people that I do business with, they have the machinery and skill. I have the brand, I have access to the market, and you are seen as nothing but access gateway to market. Most influencers will not tell you. When they sit in boardrooms and do deals, the conversation you're having, it's not likely an equity partner. When you look at somebody who you just see nothing but a following, you see nothing but a number, you see nothing but somebody who has access to your market, you don't see that person as a partner. You see that person as a means to an end. When you look at how we've been strategically positioned to be part of certain deals that are by requirements of BEE uh, compliance status where you need to form allegiance with black people so that you can tick a certain compliance status. So the engagement, you don't come to touch out of the expertise, the business capacity he brings into an idea. You come to him because he's black. And we cannot call that economic inclusion. So a friend said to me, but touch the reason why you cannot be trusted with money. You guys are loud. Black people, you loud. As soon as you make 20, 30, 40 million, you buy Ferraris, you buy Lamborghinis. And you know what really clicked at that moment? How do you tell someone who has never had the opportunity to come dine with you for 400 years? You set the system. South Africa, let's talk about the Roman Dutch law, which is still appropriate and used in South African law today. Let's talk about the economic system that we are trying to figure out how to meander and build our businesses and grow within this system that we never designed. My society, we don't approve each other based on degrees that we hang on the wall. Black people are not respected based on the skill or the, or the contribution they make. The only way I get your attention, I have to be so loud and live beyond my means because that's the language you understand. We are loud because we have been closed We've been segregated, marginalized for so long that the only time we're gonna get the attention, we gotta wrap our way into a system. And by wrapping our way, certain lyrics are gonna be mentioned that's gonna catch their attention. I got a house in Pinville. I think my house in Pinville is far stunning. It's beautiful than most of the houses in suburban areas. But there's a reason why I have to live closer to what's assumed to be a civilized, environment there's a reason why most blacks do not have rich black communities or don't have rich black part of our township you can go right now to Houghton you will see rich Jews living together with average Jews you can go to Ranfontein you see wealthy Afrikaners living coexisting with average Afrikaners you come to the township you see poor black people Soon as they make it, they have to leave Soweto, they have to leave the township, they have to leave Umlazi and try to fit in in Sandhurst. We don't have a coexistence of the well-off, average, and grassroots. I know as soon as you get to Floyd Mayweather level, you're a target. As soon as you get to Michael Jordan level, you're a target. As soon as you get to Michael Jackson's level, you're a target. I know it here in South Africa because the people I look up to all have made headlines of how they got bankrupt, the liquidations, the people I look up to, they make headlines because of their failure, because they've been portrayed as failures in society. And you ask yourself, who really decides on the media's editorial policy? I'm living in a society that doesn't produce black role models because every time you Google somebody very successful there's a scandal attached to them look at any establishment that is black owned it's set up if it's not through the media it's going to be set up not to even thrive or get any inclusion i sit with people in boardrooms and when i listen to how they perceive my situation it is really sad man to even think we have penetrated the ideals of the 1964 ANC conference. You might have to correct the year, but you know about the Morogoro conference.
to even think we live in a society that allows people like myself to thrive. Who else is going to do it? When a guy who is coming from nowhere has to break through so many barriers. And when you make it up there, you deal with such obliterations from banks, from real estate, media. How many of us are really going to penetrate? I'm talking a fraction of wealth. How many of us? Because soon as you make a certain income bracket, you're already orchestrated to fail. It cannot be. So maybe the language of us being loud must translate from being loud to taking over. And what that means, I don't know. 